Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets OBS Studio tutorial video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove your webcam's background in OBS without a green screen. So if you want to use the same custom backgrounds as you would in Zoom or Google Meet, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to easily do this in OBS Studio for free. And you can even use your current scenes. You won't really have to build anything new. We just add some filters to them. All right, so to get started, the first thing we need to do is actually download a plugin for OBS. Check the description. I'll have the direct link down there so you can just click that and open it up. This is on the official OBS Studio website, obsproject.com, so you know that it's been tested and it's safe to use. To download the plugin, all we need to do is select Go to Download, then simply scroll down here, and you have two options, one for Windows and one for Mac. I'm going to be downloading the Windows version, so go ahead and select your correct version for your OS, and then save that to your computer. Now to install this plugin into our OBS Studio, what we need to do is open up the file that we downloaded. It's going to be a zipped compressed file. Go ahead and open that up. And then you'll see two folders in here. Go ahead and select both of these folders, right click them and go to copy. And we simply need to paste these into the OBS Studio folders on our computer where it's installed. To do that, what I recommend doing is opening up another file explorer and then in the left sidebar, selecting this PC and then going to your C drive. Most likely your OBS is installed on your C drive under program files. And then you'll see OBS Studio right here. From here, once we're in OBS Studio, just right click and select paste. You might need to enter in credentials if you're not the administrator on your computer. All right, so now that we've taken the downloaded plugin files and copied them into the OBS folder on our computer, we're ready to start using the plugin for background removal on our webcam in OBS. So if you already have OBS open, go ahead and close it, then reopen it up. And then we just need to simply add a filter to our webcam. If you don't already have your webcam added as a source, to do that, all you need to do is go under sources, select the little plus symbol, and then go to video capture device, add the device. And then in the devices dropdown, just select your correct webcam that you wanna use for your recording or your streaming. Once you've added your camera, all we need to do is right click that source, then go up to filters. Under audio and video filters, select the little plus symbol and go to background removal. You can rename it if you want to, but I'm just gonna select okay. And then as you can see, it very quickly starts removing the background of your webcam. Now we have some settings in here that we can use to add the green screen and then improve the accuracy of that background removal. So the first thing I recommend doing is going under background color, go to select color, and we're just gonna make the background bright green, like a green screen then go to okay. So as you can see, we now have our green screen background. From there, what I recommend doing is going under segmentation model right here, and you can select the different models. This is the model that it uses to actually remove the background. So depending on your setup, you might find one that works better. The best one I found is going to be robust video matting. To me, that just looks the best. As you can see, if I move my hands up, it does a pretty good job of allowing those to come through, but also removing the background on them. After that, you can change the four settings up here for threshold, contour filter, smooth silhouette, and feather blending silhouette. The top three look pretty good by default to me, but the feather blending silhouette, I like to move that up just a little bit. As you can see, it makes the outline look much better. Once you've made your desired changes, go ahead and select close. And then as you can see, we now have our webcam with the background removed with a green screen. Now all we need to do is add our background. And we have two options. We can either add an image or a video, and I'll show you how to do both of them. So to add a background image, what we need to do is go under sources, select the plus symbol, and then go to image. For create new, you can rename it. I'm just gonna select okay. Then under image file, select browse, find the image file that you wanna use as your background, open it up. As you can see, it's right there. Select okay. Now you wanna make sure that in the list of sources, your image is all the way at the bottom below your webcam. And then we need to right click our web webcam, go to filters, under effect filters, select the plus button, and then go to chroma key. Select OK. Once you add it, it should start working instantly. So select close. And then as you can see, I now have my background removed and I'm sitting in an office. To add a video background, you would go through the same steps with your webcam of adding the chroma key filter. But rather than adding the image source, you would simply go to the plus symbol and you would go up to add a media source. From here, you just browse on your computer and you wanna find the video that you want as your background, open it up, 
Once you add the video, go down and select loop here to ensure that the video continuously plays and then go to OK. Now we have the video added to OBS. We just need to change the order of it down in the sources to be just below the webcam. And then there you go. Our background is now the video. All right, so that's how you remove the background from your webcam without a green screen in OBS. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more OBS Studio tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.